Hello, hello everyone. So I am very, very excited for today's video because I'm going to be telling you guys something really awesome about these cards. Once I'm done with that, uh, I've got some purchases I'm going to show you. I have a really crazy amount of really awesome stuff. And yeah, so if you're looking at these cards, wondering why they're here. Yeah, some of you who've maybe been following some of my videos might understand why because I've been talking about this for a while and it took two years, but finally happened. And what happened? Well, I finally get to complete this set. So today, what I have is a Sylveon Blackstar Hollow Rare promo. And well, I have about 100 of them. Well, not about, exactly 100. So finally, two years in the making, I get to complete my Sword and Shield Blackstar Hollow Rare Complete Evolution set. I'm pretty excited about this. The last time something like this was achievable was almost 10 years ago uh, with these cards here. So there was a black and white era um, Black Star promo set where you could get all the evolutions, which was really cool. Um, one thing I didn't like about this set was how all the cards followed a theme and then Sylveon kind of was just doing its own thing. Um, but you could get all these cards inside of a box, so you bought them all at the same time. But this, every single one of these cards had its own release and they were released over a span of about two years. So I double checked and Flareon I think had the first release and that was like early mid August. So it was lit we're literally about two weeks away from this taking two full years before all of these cards were complete. And um, again, if you've been watching my channel and seeing me pick up these cards slowly over the course of two years, um, I was aware that this was gonna happen, which is why at release, when a lot of these cards were like floor bottom cheap prices, I was picking them up because I knew that during the Sword and Shield block, I would be able to complete this set. And again, it's been almost 10 years since uh, you were able to do that in this hobby. And the reason I knew that is because you get a sneak preview on what Japanese cards were about to be released. And then, you know, a month or two later, those were released. And a month or two after, we would get an English version. So in the Japanese version, they were gym promos, non hollows, which is why I kind of passed on the Japanese version actually because uh, they're non hollow and English cards are generally a little bit more popular. Uh, and I, I wasn't really planning on grading these, but you know, Japanese cards generally grade better. So months in advance, I realized, oh, hey, they're releasing these in Japanese, then they're coming out as hollow English promos. And then I've realized, okay, wait, we've seen almost all of these. I think it is very likely we're going to be able to get every single evolution as a Black Star Hollow Rare. And again, that almost never happens. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's only happened once. Um, so I picked up at least 50 copies of every single one of these hollows, 100 of the Sylveon. Um, but yeah, 50 to 100 of each, so I can make complete sets of them. Uh, so took literally two years for me to complete a nine card set um but yeah well worth it very excited i'm probably gonna put this set right here into one of my binders so i think this is gonna be like a lot of vintage uh got a shadowless nine tails nice and then yeah some first edition energies normally i would never touch energy cards with a 10 foot pole but i mean if it's first edition base set and they're cheap enough uh, people will buy anything that's first edition base. Got another, got more Shadowless cards. We got Shadowless Clefairy, Shadowless Gyarados, Shadowless Magneton. Got Reverse Hollow Pokemon Fan Club from Aquapolis. Got some Black Star Wizards of the Coast promo rares. WB Pikachu, Game Boy Mouth, W Stamp, um, Dark Arbok. Some Dark Persian Black Star promos. A lot of Wizards of the Coast era Black Star promos. Uh, there's that Eevee I was just talking about, so I've got a few of those. At least one or two in this uh, purchase. And some kind of like bulk right there. Um, a bunch of Pikachus. Neo Revelation, Jump Luff. No, oh, yeah, some EX Ruby. Maybe some Sandstorm or Dragon in here? No, just some EX Ruby uh, Sapphire starters. This is. These E-Series sets, like EX Ruby, EX Sandstorm, EX um, 
I've mentioned this before, the EX era E series cards I think are super undervalued, like very, considering that they're like the first appearances of th third gen Pokemon and they are some of the lowest printed sets ever. So it's like really unique cards and they're, as far as set cards go, essentially like as rare as they get. Uh, so considering that, I, I pick them up here and there. They don't have very much demand, at least right now. They might just blow up at some point in the future, but I pick them up here and there just because I, I, I just really don't think they should be there at these prices. Um, anyway, it's got a reverse hollow Expedition Charizard, a hollow rare Expedition Dragonite, a hollow rare uh, Expedition Charizard again, but you know, the non reverse version, and a um, Sky Ridge Jolteon, hollow rare. So, E-series cards, I've always loved them. I think they're really cool. They're just so unique, and a lot of the artwork is really cool. But again, <laughs> one thing, like the Sky Ridge Jolteon, I think the artwork, honestly, like, it's mediocre, but there is um, a Jolteon and Flareon in EX Sandstorm, and I think the hollows of those cards just blow the Sky Ridge versions out of the water. Like, they're beautiful art, and then the Flareon and Jolteon are just like, meh, in Sky Ridge, in my opinion. Which is kind of sad, because most of the like Aquapolis, Sky Ridge, Expedition, in my opinion, normally have really, really good art, but uh, for the Evolutions, I was kind of a little bit disappointed, at least for Jolteon. Some, uh, what was this? I think this is Undaunted, Harkold Silver, Undaunted, Undaunted. Um, Nidoking, got a Reverse Hollow Rare, um, Kingdra, the Delta Species, that's pretty cool. Or, then some other Hollows, got a Radiant Pikachu, Oh yeah, some, I think we got some high, pretty high value. Got some Lugia EX Full Arts um, from, oh, what set is this? Fates Glide, is it? Ah, uh, I can't remember. No, is this Ancient Origins? I think this is Ancient, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Ancient Origins. Uh, some Full Arts there, some Mega Tarantar, same set, yeah, almost positive it's Ancient Origins. Um, full Arts, and then the non-Mega version, really cool for, Full Arts there. Got a great Berninja. And then um, Breakpoint. I think Breakpoint is the Gyarados set. Breakthrough is the Mewtwo set. I always like mix those up, but I'm like 99% sure I'm right. Uh, I got some full art shiny red Gyarados. It's really cool cards. Awesome. And then exact same thing. Got some full art shiny mega red Gyarados. It's awesome. These EX full arts are amazing. Got a um, Mega Scizor EX full art. Mega Blastoise EX Full Arts from Evolution, and then just a regular Mega Charizard EX from Evolution. Some uh, Radiant Collection uh, Gardevoir EX from Generations. And we have uh, some more Generations cards, including another Mega Gardevoir, Blastoise, Jolteon, a Gengar EX from Phantom Forces, Full Art Rayquaza from Roaring Skies, Mega Steelix EX, the shiny version. It's kind of interesting how EX uh, era had a couple of shiny cards that they just like didn't indicate the card is shiny. Like there wasn't like Gold Star or Shining or Radiant or like anything like that in the title or on the card to like indicate it. It was just a shiny Pokemon. Clearly like Steelix is not gold. So it's like, this is obviously a shiny card, but it's not like indicated that that is a fact anywhere on the card, which is a little odd, but anyway, still really cool. Oh wait, and hang on, this, let me, let me backtrack. They did the exact same thing with this Gardevoir. See, like, and you can tell, <laughs> there's, there's no denying it. There's two Gardevoirs on this picture. One is green and one is blue. One of those is shiny and it's the blue one. So that was like a, an odd thing they did with um, EX era cars where they just randomly threw a shiny Pokemon in there and just like didn't mention it. Got a tag team Magikarp and Whale, Whale Lord. Got some flying Pikachu full arts, shattered glass uh, Pikachu from the theme deck for evolutions. Pretty cool card. Anything with base set card reprints is pretty interesting in my opinion. And some lots of Pikachu promos. I mean, it's Pikachu. What do you want me to say? Got some Salamence promos, full arts, shining ho-ho. Uh, Misty's determination, some championship cards, a Mew full art. Uh, this is also from Generations, same with this Jirachi, from those um, mythical collection boxes. Those are pretty cool. I like those boxes. 
or at least I like the artwork on the promos in them. I think it's really, they're really nice. Uh, this is from like that best set, best of X and Y premium collection box. Um, that had it was something like 14 different full arts in one box. Pokemon has not done anything like that before and has not done anything like that since. I can't think of any product where you get 14 full arts in a single box. It's insane. I don't think anything's had more than like two. Like it's, that was such a crazy product. And at the time, no one cared. It was weird. They're just like, oh yeah, 14 full arts, who cares? <laughs> Never happened again. <laughs> uh, another staff promo, promo. Again, this is another mythical um, collection box from Generations promo. We have a Cherim from Rumble. Love the Rumble promos. Really hard for to like find in good condition, especially if they're uh, if it's like a Pikachu or Venusaur or Mewtwo from Rumble. Uh, sorry if I'm sniffling. I'm not sick. It's just all the trees around me are dropping a lot of pollen, and I have allergies. So my apologies. Um, here's that Black Star Eevee again. Really cool card. And get that out of the way. Some full art Charizards, many a full art Charizards and a full art Blastoise kind of snuck right in there. But yeah, this Charizard EX, I absolutely love. It was kind of like, um, this was like a Generations uh, box promo. There's a Venusaur and Pikachu as well. They're kind of like tag team cards or alt art cards before those were a thing like five years later. But these were kind of like the first of that where you get like the, the car or like Charizard and then there's Pokemon in the background that, that kind of started happening in uh, EX era normally background Pokemon were like not really a thing before then before EX era and then again more um, more Black Star promos I mean it's Wizards of the Coast so it's like the most popular era of Pokemon uh, I pick those up pretty often to say the least because I saw them pretty often um, again this Jolteon's also from that premium collection box that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Some um, Lucario promos, a full art promo, and some pre-release promos. Game Boy Mew, not Mew, uh, Meowth, whoops. I was looking at Mew when I was trying to say Meowth. Uh, a third place league promo. Uh, I guess, yeah, times change. So this is the same promo as that Pikachu Shattered Glass from Generations, or sorry, not Generations, Evolutions. Some more Black Star promos. And we have some more Full Arts. Mega Mewtwo from, from Breakthrough Full Art, really cool. Picking up a lot of EX uh, Full Arts recently. They're starting to creep up in value. You just, there isn't really, like, EX went from being, um, Sorry, not EX. X and Y era went from being everyone hated it to like now you can't really get packs anywhere. So I'm noticing, um, especially in graded 10, the prices are starting to like climb. Some Championship Lily, cute little promo there. Some Gold Star Greninjas. Not much to say about this. It's a Gold Star, it's a Greninja. It's 25th anniversary, so picked up some there. Some. Espeon Full Arts. One, that's actually one thing I've really noticed about uh, the Espeon and Umbreon Full Arts from Sun and Moon base set are like $10, which feels really, really cheap to me. So I'm picking some up because, I don't know, I they, they're at a price where sometimes you can just flip them on eBay for like double that immediately, or you can maybe wait and they might go up. So if I see a card I can buy and flip it immediately, and I think it's probably gonna go up in value. That's a pretty easy purchase for me because it's like both, I don't wanna say investable, but like flippable and investable. You know, how, God, oh, that feels so dirty. I, God, I don't, never mind. I didn't say investable. It feels grimy to say that, I don't know. It feels weird. Um, I don't recommend investing in Pokemon. Don't do that. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor. That's not financial advice. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> uh, we have some more of these Full Art Gyaradoses. God, I picked up quite a few of these. Some Mega Gyaradoses EX Full Arts from Breakpoint. Or sorry, yes, Break, yeah, Breakpoint. 
and um, the secret rare of that set. Got two of those. This is a really cool card. I graded one of these in a PSA 10, and I don't know, it's fantastic. Just shiny full art Gyarados. You have Greninja in the background there, there too, Manaphy. Just a really cool card. Um, yeah, grab two of those in this purchase. And let's see, I have Shadowless Gyarados here as well. And the last card, a Swampert from uh, EX Ruby and Sapphire. Cool card. I Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Lots of crazy cards. I really hope you enjoy the video. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you.